Hi everyone, it's Christina and I am going to work in my art journal today. More art than journal. This is just an old book and I thinned the pages out to um, so it's not so thick when I am done journaling in here or art journaling in here. I have some pages that are prepped but I don't want to use them like I don't want a red and a black page. Uh, this is glue. This is a paper towel glued on, and I don't want to use that, so I'm going to start fresh. I don't have any gesso because I want to prime my page, so I'm just going to use some white paint. I like gesso better because when it dries, it's stiffer and it covers better, but this will do. So I'm just going to pour this right on, or squeeze it right on, and use my foam brush. And you can kind of still see through, but that's okay. I think it's kind of cool when you can see some of the writing. Probably by the time I'm finished anyways, not going to be able to see through it anyhow. So I'm now going to heat dry this and I'll be back. All right, now that my page is dry, um... Not quite sure what I'm going to do with the background, but I do know that I've got a, a few stamps in my stash that are um, houses. Um, and then I've got this one too, which is this one right here. Um, that's all I've got. And what I was thinking of doing is putting a whole row of houses across the two pages. And I probably could just stamp them right on, but I don't know how it's going to look like. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some watercolor paper, and this is just cheap marker watercolor pad that I find either I get the thrift store or at Walmart. See how these stamps um, looks like they've got them colored in the background, although they don't stamp that way. But I want to do the same thing. I want to be able to stamp them onto a colorful background. So what I'm going to do spray a bunch of colors on here and these are the colors that I'm going to use some greens or lime green I don't know green yellow pink so the first thing I'm going to do is wet my page and just randomly spray here and there can't believe they're actually spraying. You know how sometimes the sprayer gets all plugged up? Um, I think that's good. Maybe lift the page. Oh yeah. There we go. A little bit like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to soak some of it up with my paper towel. and take my heat gun and dry it. So it's all dry, ready for stamping. I did another one too. Um, all right, so now my page is a bit white. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I want the background to look. I want to add some texture on the pages. I'm gonna use the light molding paste. Um, so I'm going to use some stencils. I'm going to go through my stash and see what I want to use on my pages. So these are the ones I decided to use. The ruler. This I made myself. This is just Punchinella. Some stars, hearts, and circles. A doily. Bricks. And that's it. And I think at this point I am going to fast forward a little bit, add some music while I'm doing this part on the pages.
Now that my molding paste is dry, now I am going to add some color. I've got my craft mat underneath here and some paper towels just to soak up some of the spray here. And yeah, I'm just going to get going. Alright, so now I am going to start stamping my houses.
So I went through my rub-on stash and um, I used the letters for home and family. I was going to do love, but I don't have all the letters on here. But I found this. So there's love. So I'm just going to pick some words from here and continue to rub them along the bottom here. All right, then I'm going to go through my stash and I think I want to put like something in this corner. Um, and before I make something, I'm sure that there's something, uh, you know, in here that I could use. But it's got to match, right? It's kind of got to be in the same theme, but no, that's not going to work. Um, and I know that there's something in here. Somewhere, somewhere. Oh no. Oh, here it is. See? I made this a long time ago and just never used it. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this tag here. And I think I'm going to use a sentiment from this stamp set. Um, yeah, and adhere that there. And I don't know, maybe... I guess it'll be done. I have some, uh, this used to be one big flower, this metal embellishment, but I like to break them apart and just use pieces. So I think what I'm gonna do is add this piece, cause there's like a, I don't know, I don't like that blank space up here in the tag. So I think I'm just gonna hot glue that right there, just to fill in that space. I also did another Use another one of the stamps. Home is where our story begins, and I stamp that up in the corner. I think my journal pages are finished. I'm just going to use my gelatos here. I've got a yellow and a green, and I'm just going to rub it just along the side of the page just to make the green and the yellow a little bit more vibrant. I added some brown gelatos on this corner. Then I'm just going to take a paper towel or, or a wet wipe and just rub it in a little bit. Um, there we go. Um, I think I'm also going to grab, I'm going to water down some white paint and with a paintbrush sprinkle um, a little bit um, on this tag just so it sort of matches the other uh, speckle. And I think we're done. And at the end of the video here, I'm just going to, I'm gonna take some uh, closer up pictures and then you'll see them at the end of the video. And that was lots of fun. I really enjoyed this. And I'm so happy that you watched and played along with me and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye everybody.